Welcome back, guys. I've got the game paused at the moment because I just wanted to show you some, one thing which uh, people, a couple of people asked me to see, and that's to see the temperature overlay. And look, you can see it's roasting hot over here. And it's just about getting to our doors. Almost at the doors. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to cancel the remaining jobs in here because it's, it's kind of dangerous in here. Uh, let's cancel... Let's cancel those dig jobs, right? And we'll get everybody the hell out of here. Come on, get out. Go, go, go. There we go. Uh, now, these doors now need to be closed. So, um, this is going to be... Um, you know what? We'll put that one on auto. We'll put that one on auto. We'll put that one on locked. Oh, a couple of people getting scalded. Come on, guys. Get things done. Now, up here... While they're, while they're sorting those doors out. Um, I'm getting rid of all of these <clears throat> paintings that shouldn't have been there. Because uh, I, I didn't change the jobs. I've now changed the jobs and I've brought in three of my patrons. Murya, Murya Froberg. Uh, Blind Dark Angel, which is uh, Sam. And Cubicle, who is, of course, Cubicle. <laughs> I have no idea what Cubicle's real name is. Uh, you, why aren't you set to auto? Auto. And that one should be locked. To speed things up a little bit, see if they'll actually come and close these blooming doors. And I've got to watch it, because... Uh, are they going to slip? Where, where the hell are they? Oh, you know why? Because I have prioritised them. That's why. That needs to be nine. That needs to be like, I don't know, seven. Let's get these... To, oh, here we go. Oh, don't, don't go away! Come back and close this blooming door. The heat's getting out. It's 23 degrees here. There we go. So that one's done. So now I can make this door priority nine. Make this door like priority six. I don't know. Come on, guys. Come on, please. Please come across the doors. Here we go. Oh, you're going to... Yes, here we go. And that's that one done. And now we can set that to priority nine. Get this door locked. Quick. There we go. Right. Oh, look at that. I never noticed that before. It's actually uh, a little bar comes down. That's very cool. I like that. Right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to slide things down a bit because I've got a few things to do. Right. Up here, this door here uh, needs to be uh, deconstructed. Where are you off to, Zach? Oh, but I might up the priority. Of, yeah, they are bringing water to this. Yeah, I might I might up the priority a little bit on that to make sure because I want to keep oxygen down here. How are things in here? Oh, it's heated up. 200, 300 degrees. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and that's what we need. That's what we need. These high temperatures, right? Because in this episode, we're going to be making sand. Oh, that's going to be very cool. But we're going to do a bunch of other things as well now. Putting the showers out and toilets over here. Well, to, to be honest, the to putting the toilets over here not a, wasn't maybe the worst decision, but putting the um, putting the showers here, I really don't think was the cleverest idea. So I think we're going to have a bit of uh, bit of a redesign. The other thing is, <clears throat> obviously, we, they, they can't get through here at the moment. So uh, first thing we'll do, we'll do this as priority nine, is just just dig through there so they can actually get through here. Why? Why do they need to get through here? Because I want to actually make some of these cool vests protects the wearer from heat by decreasing insulation so let's uh i don't know let's make um uh, let's make six of those like straight away so there we go so it, once they dig that they can get into here and do that now I, what i was thinking was because this stuff's uh, warm uh we'll put this like up the top up here somewhere and i was thinking do i really uh, do i really need four showers I could probably do with two, but maybe three. So what I need to do is move these outhouses. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put, uh, let's see, uh, what do I want? Outhouses. Outhouses, I'm going to put an outhouse out there. Is that where I want to put it? Yeah, I'm going to put an outhouse there, and I'm going to put an outhouse there. And I'm also going to put a compost heap. Uh, compost it. These are for emergencies. Like, if anything goes wrong to, to stop the toilets working, they can still go and use these. And then I think we'll put um, a compost tape, so I want refinement. 
Uh, we'll put the compost heap, I don't know, like maybe over there. Yeah. Right, so if I'm doing that, I've got to dig out. Yeah, let's, yeah, probably six. Let's dig out that and that. Now, we want this, any gases that come from here to be able to like dissipate. So I guess what I should do is dig out like that and then dig out into here because this is already polluted oxygen. So that would kind of work. I really want to get this chlorine down here for this morb to eat. That would kind of be a good thing. Um, how would I do that? Now, there's chlorine in here and the morb can eat that. So what we could do is have a little bit of a dig through into here, couldn't we? Yeah, go on, let's, um, let's dig through there. Now, bleach stone, it's a good point. Gonna have to deal with bleach stone. Let's get a storage compactor. Maybe sticking it in here isn't a bad idea. Let's put it over there, right, so let's put that over there. So let's make that priority, so let's prioritize all this stuff. So make all of that, come on, priority seven. And we'll make all this priority seven. Awesome. Okay. Now let's go back down here. While they're, while they're sorting that out. Uh, what do I want? Uh, oh, I, I deconstructed that door. Because I want to put in a mechanized airlock. Now why do I want to put in a mechanized airlock? I want to put in a mechanized airlock. Because then I can control who goes in and out of here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put that in. Now this needs to be powered in order to have the... The correct uh, in order to be able to control access through the door so uh, we'll run a cable let's see power I'm just gonna use regular cable I think I'm gonna use regular cable I think I'm gonna use regular cable because it's gonna be on this internal circuit which is only gonna be a max of 800 watts so yeah that's fine um, so electrical wire yeah I'm running out gold amalgam I think we're gonna have to use a bit of a bit of copper so we'll just run it from here straight down here and plug it in boom and they're getting that done and that's awesome right let's speed things up a little bit i think okay so once they get these outhouses done which they've almost done by the way who needs to be on a medical bed that's a good point and the other that's the other thing that i want to do so, you know what, I'm going to put in a second manual generator now, which, uh, yeah, this could be copper, that's fine. So let's put, let's put that in there. Let's make that priority seven. I didn't do this wire at priority seven, did I? Which I really kind of should have done, because it, it is kind of... Somebody's got the spores. Do I care? Yeah, not really. Not, not really. Okay, uh, we'll... Uh, does it matter about the priority of this door? Uh, kind of, probably not really. Okay, it's fine. What have I got in here? Uh, oh, liquid fireballs. This is all the um, this is all the polluted. Is this the polluted ice? Yeah, it's polluted ice. I should probably get that moved into the reservoir. Now, this is starting to get very full. Right. And by the way, the whole thing with the showers, like so many of you have been saying, oh, put in a closed loop. Um, you're missing the point of what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is use up the dirty water uh, because that's sustainable. Right. If I convert all of the dirty water from these into into fertilizer, that's sustainable. Running it through um, a water purifier like I'm doing at the moment is not sustainable. Yeah, I could have put that water purifier over here, close the loop and yeah. And then eventually I run out of sand and then I'm screwed. It's not sustainable, right? This is, this is why I'm trying to do the whole creating sand. If I can make sand, then it gives us more options. But until we can do that, and even then, to be honest, um, if, I can, if I can route these into uh, a system where I'm, I'm just using up the dirty water, it's a good thing. But we're still getting too much water at the moment. So what I'm going to do over here, periodically, is just tell them to mop it. Like, priority out. Oh, and of course, it's night time. As soon as I try and do something, it's night time. Um, but we could just tell them, uh, like if I tell them, mop that. And then hopefully, when they wake up, come on guys, wake up. 
I'm going to bring in... You know what? Uh, pause. I'm going to bring in another dupe. Uh, cheers, duplicant. Yeah, you're anemic, slowly. You can't dig. Um, uh, you good at tinkering. Maybe we put you on composting duties. Okay, yeah, Frankie, because I'm because I'm impatient. I just want to bring somebody in. Might you, quick learner and naturally robust, but anemic. I don't really like anemic too much. Uh, I mean, they would skill up, but and they would learn fast. I mean, that's probably a good guy to bring in. But I, I just kind of like the look of Frankie, frankly. Frankie, frankly, right. And uh, this is going to be choppy. Choppy, the, spelt wrong, deliberately, before you start writing your comments. Choppy the dupe. Oh, I'm just going to call him Choppy, but there you go. Choppy. Choppy, you're in. Choppy's in. Choppy will be very happy now. Uh, right, so what are we doing? Yeah, so I've got that in. I need to plug that in, don't I? So let's power that up. Oh, let's go over and see them mopping. Oh, there they go. So they will just quite literally destroy that water. So, yeah, we can keep it under control until we figure out a way to actually use it properly. And they do kind of blast through it. So a little, a little mopping session now and again, and it's problem solved. And then uh, when we're done, we can just cancel. There we go. And then they can get on with the rest of their stuff. All right. Good job. Okay, um, up here, are they making the cool vests? Oh, they've made a cool vest. I'm going to let them carry on with that. Right, They've done that outhouse. This outhouse over here, let's jump up that to a priority seven. They've done the compost. So now we can get rid of this stuff up here. So this, what's in here, by the way? This is organic polluted dirt and slime. It's a good point. I am going to need a place to put that and up here is probably uh, as good a place as any so let's get a compactor put up here storage compactor uh, let's put it there let's crank that up to a seven get that built so what the, seriously what the hell was i putting in i was putting it uh, polluted dirt and slime up here that's a pretty stupid thing to do isn't it really right let's um let's get Organic, polluted dirt, yeah, and I suppose the slime. Wasn't I putting the slime somewhere else? It should really have been putting slime like over here, but I guess we'll do it for now. At least it's outside the base now. That's kind of the important thing. So organic, polluted dirt, slime, and we'll make that priority six. Cool. Uh, that needs to be, well, that needs to be deconstructed. Let's get that done. Oh, we want that stuff. I might make this a priority seven, actually. You don't want slime lying around, do you? Not really. Let's make that a priority seven. The, that compost, that needs to be deconstructed. That needs to be deconstructed. And that, deconstruct. These two outhouses up here, deconstruct and deconstruct. Cool. And they're off to bed again bunch of slackers they just they, they just love being in bed how are my hatches doing let's see we're about oh this is good this is good we're below 20.9 degrees for most of there which should mean if i yes look it doesn't say toasty environment all right probably does up there see that's toasty surroundings these are quite comfortable down here anything below 20.9 so, so there it's too hot there it's too hot but from there across to there it's cool enough so that's good. So we're not going to kill our hatches. Excellent. Now, somebody left me a comment and said that they've changed it so that they don't eat directly from the storage compactor. So, you know what? I'm actually going to watch them for a minute and just see. It does look like they're not eating direct from the storage compactor. And if that's the case, that's like a little bit of a nightmare. Um, uh, man. Because, like, whatever I dump in here for them to eat, it's going to get hauled out and stored in somewhere else. So, i got to say, I'm not a massive fan of that. But, you know what? C 
coal, to be honest, we don't really need it at the moment anyway. So I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but I'm gonna have a think about it. So let's do um let's dig that out. Uh it's already dug on that side. They're moving that stuff, that's good. Oh, oh what the hell's been what the hell's going on over here? Oh my god, these are actually Sucking up the wood. Now they've. There has been a new update, uh, 211197. And it said there was a, a little note in there, um, like some kind of rebalancing to fertilizer. But it didn't say exactly what. But man, this is eating this dirty water now, which is pretty freaking sweet. So now this whole system is working beautifully. Awesome freaking sauce. And of course, I'm now going to rip it all out. Well, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to not rip it all out now, <laughs> if it's working. How are we doing with making those um, those clothes? Uh, how many have we made now? We've made... Oh, we've made like four. Okay. Uh, have they done the cabling? Oh, I've still got a cable that, haven't I? I forgot to do it. Yeah, let's get an electrical wire. Yeah, let's do it with... Uh, let's do it with copper. It doesn't need to be anything better than that. Uh, priority seven hook that up to there now these are hooked up to these batteries up here which is fine um they can't get across here to dig that out so what do i need to do yeah probably the easiest is just bang a couple of regular tiles in yeah any reason to do anything different no i don't think so so let's do this priority seven use a bit of igneous bang a couple of tiles in there right then we'll let all this chlorine out. <clears throat> bleachstone. Oh, yeah, bleachstone. Bleachstone. I think it's a consumable ore, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Bleachstone. And let's set that to priority seven. So all our bleachstone will get stored in there. There we go. And then any nasty chlorine that gets produced by that bleachstone can get eaten by the mob. And he'll be very happy. Oh, look, he's running over here to eat some chlorine. Good job. All right, cool. Um, and now, I, I'm, the fact we've got some bleachstone, I can now show you the funniest thing in the game. I mean, because this, this is seriously the funniest thing in the game. The, the only question is where I'm going to put it. I think I've got to put it over here. Let's go to medicine and let's go... Uh, yeah, hand sanitizer. Let's put in a hand sanitizer over here. This is just... Oh, you'll smile. Trust me, you're gonna smile. Copper ore, that's fine. Let's make it priority seven. Get it done quickly. And they bring in the bleach stone to make it. And there we go. Now, now just watch this. So, when somebody actually comes to use it, oh, they're waiting for the delivery of some bleach stone. Oh, they filled it up, right? So it's full of it's full of the hand sanitizer now. Well, <laughs> Murray has just collapsed. Another narcoleptic, a narcoleptic nap. Come on, somebody use the hand sanitizer because it is freaking funny as hell. Come on, come on, somebody, somebody must want to use it. You can't prioritize it though, so it's only like oh, now they're all going to bed. They were just slackers. Oh, here, oh look. Look, it actually sticks a tongue out and licks the hand clean. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, man, that's funny. I like that. Um, that needs to be deconstructed. That needs to be deconstructed. Right, let's get the paintings and stuff back in. I, I'm, I'm seriously wondering whether I'm going to move the showers now. Because this is all working kind of nicely over here. This is churning out the fertilizer now. Good news. Good news. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, is it is it starting to be, I guess because they're using the showers now, they're producing a lot more water. But it seems to be seems to be kinda sorta just about keeping up with it. And we're using this water from down below. Which is awesome news as well. We are actually getting rid of that dirty water down there. 
mean, that's fairly constantly pumping that stuff out into here. Yep. Each one of these is 10 kilograms of water. So these are drinking this water. Yep, they really are. That's awesome source. All right, cool. Good news. Good times. Um, okay, so they're going to be getting on with doing those pictures. I'm going to leave those at priority five. They'll just kind of do them as they do them. Um, up here, we've released the chlorine. The morb is eating the chlorine and producing polluted oxygen. So that's cool. We've got the bleach stone in there. That's excellent. We've moved those up there. That's excellent. Cool. Right, so in that case, uh, how are we doing with the clothes? Uh, oh, we've made them all. You know, do I make them for all of them? What did I make? I made six, didn't I? Okay, the, um, the, the other thing I want to do, I'm going to get rid of these medical cots. Deconstruct and... Come here, deconstruct. And we're going to do... I'm probably going to have to get rid of these paintings as well. Where's uh, medicine? I'm going to put in a couple of rejuvenators and try them out. Now, people have been kind of mixed, shall we say, with their comments about the rejuvenators. So we'll we'll try them out and we'll see. We'll see how they do. So, um, yeah, I'd have to get rid of those paintings. So you're going to have to go deconstruct. You're going to have to go deconstruct. Um, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking of putting like three in. Now, but these are two, I think they're 240 watts a piece. Yeah, 240. So 240, 240. Uh, the only thing I'm powering outside is this and just the lights, which is like, um, this is 240. So say 340. Yeah, yeah, just put the two rejuvenators in. Uh, managing these circuits, i got to say, little bit of a pain. But I guess it is what it is. I should have put it all in as a 2 kilowatt circuit from the beginning, but I can't be bothered to change it now. Oh, here, oh, here we go. Oh, now, Chop, see, I brought Choppy in and I forgot to set his jobs, didn't I? So Choppy's running around doing blooming artwork. Stop it. Have you done any pick? Have you done? Yeah, look at this. Damn, this, uh, deconstruct. Done any more? Done any more? Choppy? Choppy the nightmare? No, doesn't look like it. So there's only Grumman who can do the artwork. So look, uh, not vitals. Uh, where are we? Jobs. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there should be only Grumman doing the artwork. Okay, so we've got the... Got rejuvenator uh, unassigned. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see. Um, so you're at 100. You're at 100. Nanny G is at 67. Let's see how long it takes for Nanny G to recuperate in here. Come on, Nanny. Come and jump in the rejuvenator. Uh, Tyler is. Oh, Tyler's health is now 138 because he's been in the rejuvenator. Cool. It's kind of good news. And let's see. Wendy, you're at 73. Let's let's pop you in there then. Cool. Uh, Oz is 98. Honkabriff, 100. Bex, 100. Moves down at 80. Blind Archangel, 95. Cubicle, 69. <laughs> oh, dear. And we all giggled. Come on, cubicle. So, so Nanny G, let's, what's Nanny G's health now? Let's have a look. Nanny G's health is now 139. Somebody's got Trent Stench. Uh, so who did I say? I said cubicle needs to be in here, didn't I? Yeah, so cubicle. Where are you? Cubicle, you jump in there. Where's cubicle? Zip. Up to 138. Peachy. Uh, you know what, let's, I don't know, it's like, if I just put people in who've got, like, already at 100, will they go up to 138? I guess we'll find out. There's, uh, come on, somebody jump in there. I want to find out about this stuff. Here's Zach. Zach and Grumman are both at 100. Will they, will they use it if they're at 100? I don't know. I, mean, I guess that's what we, I guess that's what we're trying to find out. I haven't played around with these. Okay. 
Uh, well, is anybody going to go in there? I don't think they're going to go in there. I think they would have gone in there by now if they were going to go in there. Uh, let's see. What else? I like? choppy. Hundred thirty-eight. Okay. Is that blind archangel? Let's get you in there. Uh, Maya is eighty. Let's get Maya in this one then. Boom. Oh, oh, that's choppy. Where, where's blind archangel? And Maria. Oh, Maria's in there. Let's have a look at Maria now. Maria is now health 138. Okay, yeah, those are actually... I don't know what people have been complaining about those. They seem to work okay to me. They're lightning fast, and they bump up the, the max HP. So, yeah. I, I, seriously, on the forums, people have been saying, eh, there's no point. Just use the ordinary ones. Just go to show. Don't believe everything you read on the forums. Right. Uh, down here, uh, we've got this mechanized airlock. And now that it's powered... Uh, we can control who goes in and out of here. So what I can do is I can say the default is that nobody goes in or out. And this door down here, we'll set this to be auto now. Uh, now, obviously, somebody's got to go down and do that, but they'll do that at some point. Oh, and we've done that wheeze walk. Good. Uh, where am I going to put the other wheeze? I want to keep this cool down here. Yep. Yeah, we are keeping this cool. It's like minus 30, minus 35, minus 28, minus 30. Yeah, we're doing the job. And in here, it's freaking 400 degrees, like even right over by the door. That door, 17 degrees. Peachy. Okay, this is, oh my God, this is working. It's 100, 145 degrees in there, 174. Here, it's like 95. And then here, it's like minus 30. So, yeah, this seems to be working, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to put another wheeze wart over here. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, like, where to put it. I mean, I could put it there, uh, or I could put it there and space it out a little bit. Or I could even plant it, like, over here, like, right by the door, which might not be the worst idea I've ever had. Uh, how about putting it there, like, right there? Should I do that? It, you know what? What the hell? Let's do it. So, base, uh, we want storage uh, compactor, uh, priority seven. Let's do it with, I don't know, igneous rock, because it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, let's put you there. Okay, now, obviously, nobody can get in here at the moment. So let's say, uh, let's go up to the clothes, first of all. So our clothes should be in here. Yeah, cool vests. So let's say, where are we, clothes? Um... Dump out the cool vests. Let's take a cool vest and assign that to... Now, who am I going to be sending in there? Who shall I send into the dangerous heat? Um, good question. Uh, not Grumman, because Grumman's our artist, but like pretty much anybody else. So how about Zack Vader can go in. Um, Nanny G. Uh, Wendy. Uh, let's do those three for now. So, go. I want those three to go and get their outfits. So, oh, Wendy's put hers on. Good job. Where's the other two? Oh, here's Zack Vader. Oh, Zack Vader's put his on, finally. So, we just need Nanny to put hers on. You know what? I'm just going to leave those. So what did I say? Zach Vader, Nanny, and, um, and 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 the other person that I assigned. So it's going to be. Uh, so Nanny G, she's going to have customer access. She can get in and out, and Zach Vader, he can get in and out. And who was the other one? I can't remember who the other one was now. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't Grumman. Oh look! 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 Where's Nanny? There's Nanny. Oh, and she's wearing her cool suit, isn't she? She is wearing her cool suit. Good job. Not doing anything, but... Uh, well, who's that? No, that's Nanny again. Uh, I need to find the third person. Who was the third person that I signed? Uh, it was Nanny G. Was it Tyler? I guess it was Tyler, wasn't it? So we look. Assigned. He hasn't been assigned a suit. Well, who was it then? Was it Wendy? Oh, yeah, Wendy. Okay. So, you know what? Uh, Wendy, where's Wendy? Wendy VB. She's going to be able to go in here. And I'm going to get Tyler set up as well. 
Uh, and I'm going to get Tyler into a cool suit. So let's go all the way back up here and uh, get one of these cool vests. Uh, where's Tyler? Here's Tyler. Tyler, you're the owner of that now. Go. Alrighty. So we've now got four people kitted out with uh, the cool vests who can go into here where it is freaking 400 degrees. That's pretty warm. Um, uh, building that. Good. Okay, now I can set that to store. Where are we? Wiz Warp. At uh, probably seven. Go. Oh, Nanny, what the hell are you doing going in there? Why on earth would you go in here? There's nothing to do. I cancelled these these jobs. Why would you go into here? Like, seriously, why the hell would you go in there? Oh, she's going to go and pick up some stuff. Oh, man. Okay. She's now getting scalded and she's got heat stroke. Right. That, uh, and Zach has gone in and done that as well. Who's scalding now? Okay. And he's, well, he's out now. Why is he still scalding? Okay. He's all right now. So Tyler's now going to come in and he's going to get the same thing. Yeah, he's scalding. But he's not taking damage. He's not taking damage as fast as they were. These cool suits do actually work. So that, that is very good news. Has this, got the, this has got the Weezwort seed in it so that we can now... Uh, storage compactor. Uh, we can deconstruct that. Uh, let's crank that up to priority nine. Oh, they're collecting all this abyssalite, which is kind of a, a nice thing for them to do. But, yeah, they are starting to take damage from it. Um, where do I want that abyssalite stored? Should I store that abyssalite? I don't know. Yeah, I'll just let them do whatever the hell they're doing. Let's just get it. Let's let just let them do it. Okay, let's get uh, let's get them rejuvenated. So let's have Zach, Zach there, Nanny. Man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of looking after them because you can't kind of. I don't know. I don't know whether they'll stay assigned once they've been healed because obviously with the, with the massage beds they deassign themselves. Now, do they deassign themselves with these? Let's find out. So this is. Um, this one's Nanny G's. This one is Zach's. Oh, and in they go. Oh, no, they stay assigned. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good news. Ooh, Nanny G. Oh, Nanny G is staying in there. And I wonder, has, she, has that cured her heat stroke? Let's have a look. No, she's still got heat stroke. She spent a long time in there, didn't she? Okay, who else is... Uh, so it's it's the top four, isn't it? It's... Um, uh, apart from Grumman. So it's Wendy... Oh, pause. It's Wendy and Tyler. So let's pop Wendy and Tyler in there for a bit. Beef them up. All right. <clears throat> so should we get on to uh, trying to create some sand? Because that's what this episode was supposed to be about. Pause. Let's get... Uh, what do I want? I want storage compactors. And I want storage compactors made from... Abyssalite, because anything else is um, probably going to like, take damage all the time, which would not be good. So what I want to do, and this is going to be like priority uh, seven. Um, how many storage compactors do I want? It's a kind of a good question. I think we'll start off with maybe like, putting in three there. And maybe one there. Now... I've been thinking about how I'm going to do this, and I've got some ideas of what I can try, but I'm not absolutely 100% certain about exactly how this is going to work. I'm going to have Weezwort seed planted, which is good news. Ooh, getting scalded. How are you doing? But she's not, not taking a lot of damage. So those cool suits, yeah, working. How's, how's Nanny? Yeah, see, Nanny's not taking a lot of damage. 
And with the rejuvenators, man, you know, this could work. This could actually work, which is... Seriously, I am kind of surprised that it's all going to... Well, well, let, let's not say it's going to work yet. So I'm going to say I want fertilizer in here. And I'm going to say set this one at priority seven. Now, uh, we're currently storing our fertilizer up here in these. So I am now going to say... Um, what was it? Polluted dirt, slime, fertilizer. You know, I'm just going to say don't store anything in here. Let's just dump that stuff. No and no. Right, so the slime and the polluted dirt uh, can be stored up in this one that's already full. My God, it's already full of polluted dirt and slime. Yeah, apparently it is. Okay, well, let's get another one up there, I suppose. Uh, priority seven. This one's just going to be igneous. Boom. Uh, let's make that. Yeah, I already did make it priority seven. Here we go. Can't get it built, guys. And we'll set you to organic, just uh, polluted dirt and slime. Cool. Go. Alrighty. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, 1600 out here. It's 1700 in here. 1600. That doesn't look like we're producing enough oxygen now. So. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at our gas pumping. Yeah, I think... I think we need to increase the amount of oxygen that we're pumping in here. Now, what's the... What's in here? So, it's like... Yeah. Yeah, I think we can pump more in. Oh, I've already got both pumps working. Wow. Okay, what's the pressure in here? Let's have a look. What's the pressure in here? Uh, it's not... Oh, now, why is... Oh, no power. Uh, let's turn this... Let's turn this one on. We'll see if... We'll see if two pumps can... Keep up with three electrolyzers. No idea. We'll see. Yeah, we're not producing enough power, are we? Now, uh, let's get another one of these going. So, another hamster wheel. What do I want? Uh, power and manual generator. And we'll make it out of, like, copper, because why wouldn't we? I don't need anything more. Let's get... Oh, no, this needs to be heavy, what? Let's use golden mountain. Boom. Okay. Alrighty. Right, let's go back down here. So, have they... Oh, now, look at this. Look at this. So this, they've been put, they've put some fertilizer in here. Man, I can't believe we missed the first, the first one. Um, they put some fertilizer in here and it was instantly heated up and turned into dirt. This is dirt in here. Look, you see at the bottom. If you look there, look, dirt. 4,000 grams, so four kilograms. So what we do is um, dig the dirt Ching. Right, I'm going to put the dirt into this one. So, uh, we dirt, 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 dirt. What do I want? I want cultivatable soil, don't I? Yeah, so cultivatable soil, just dirt, and we'll set this at priority six. Okay, go. Now, why can't they. Why is it saying they can't dig that? Yeah, they can. There we go. I was going to say. Right. So look, we've got dirt at like a hundred and... Oh, and look, that's going to get... Oh! Oh, it's some more dirt has come out. It's some more dirt has been heated up. So, yeah, dig. Currently seven. That. Go. Oh, and look, it's just, it's just like constantly turning it out. So this one, we can say, set this one to, what do I want? Uh, I want organic, I want fertilizer. This one, organic, fertilizer. Set this at priority six. This one, let's make that priority six now. Seven, and that this one priority six. 
Cool. <clears throat> so the idea is I'm going to kind of rotate these. One of these will priority will be priority seven. The other two will be priority six. Uh, and then we'll get fertilizer put in and I'll mess around with them. And as we get dirt, hopefully the dirt should get stored in there. That is the plan. But um, we've also got dirt like like loads of dirt being stored up here. And I don't want to use all of it. And, and trying to manage... Like what gets stored where and whatever is kind of difficult. Now this, this compactor here, I want to use this to store the sand. So if I set this uh, filtration medium, sand, and yeah, I'm going to have set that at priority nine. That's fine. So all of our stats, sand will get stored down here. Now why are they not digging that out? It's prior set to priority nine. Mind you, I set that at priority nine. I should make that priority, I don't know, priority eight or something. Yeah, in fact, you know what? Like priority seven's good enough. That's fine. Right, come on, somebody come and dig this out. Unreachable. Oh, oh no, because we got oh we got a little bit of dirt there. Oh, okay. Uh, dig. I didn't I didn't spot that. Dig that out. That is priority nine. This is phosphorus lying around here. God knows how that dirt got there. They must have, I don't know, dropped some fertilizer there or something. I have no idea. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nanny G. Yeah, good job. So, yeah, we've got a bit of dirt there. Now, somebody going to pick that dirt up and put it into this storage compactor. If I, if I set it to priority seven, they will. The problem is that they'll bring dirt down from up, up the top, which I don't really want them to do. I just want them to use the fertilizer. Managing that is... is yeah, bit, bit of a pain. Um, I suppose, I don't know. Like, if I set it to priority seven for a bit, I, I do want to get that bit of dirt moved. This bit of dirt here. Oh, guys, look. Look at this. We're going to... Okay, we are at 300 degrees, that bit of dirt there. And that's it. It's just turned to sand. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, PG. Look at that. Sand. We've just created sand. Oh, how happy am I? Oh, dig that. And then that sand. Now, that sand. This is kind of weird. Uh, oh, no. No, that's right. I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, we just need that sand to get dug and then put into there with the other sand. And then hopefully it'll cool down. They're still delivering sand. There we go. So now we've got a little bit of sand there. It's only a little bit. It's only a tiny, tiny amount of sand in that particular one. Oh, this is coming up. This dirt here. Oh, boom. Look at that. Oh, now that's that's more like it. That is like that's 12 kilograms of sand we've just created. Dig. Boom. Go. Oh, sweet. We can create sand! Hooray! Making sand in the hot room. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, all of this nonsense and whatever, it's all worthwhile now. Now, and this is huge. If, you, if you're wondering, like, why is he so excited that he's created some freaking sand? It's because um, if we can create sand, then a lot of the things that before weren't sustainable... Uh, now become sustainable. So, for example, let me show you. Uh, if we look at, um, uh, let's see, what the hell do I want? Uh, where's the... Uh, oh, air dehydrizer, right, which uses sand, right? And if you run out of sand, that's it, and you can't clean your, your air. Now I could actually think about using these, right, because I can make more sand, right? So up here that I wanted to clean up, um, I could I could pop in a couple of these if I wanted to up here somewhere. Alrighty, get in there, getting there, slowly but surely. Right, and we've got all of our masterpieces going on. We've got our rejuvenates. Let's just check out the health of our dupes. God, please, developers, put the frickin' health on here so you can just see it. Like. How could they not put health on here? It, uh, that's just, just beyond me. So, Grumman, 
Um, you're fine. Nanny is fine. Her health's up to 154. Whoa, Tyler's is up to 200. Wendy VB, 122. Cool. All right. Okay, that's now full of sand. Okay, great. <clears throat> uh, let's put another one of these in then. So, I don't know, Igneous and probably, you know, probably nine. Boom, get that done. Why is that dig? Oh, now they can, now somebody can reach it. I suppose it's because they're, they're messing around with this stupid sand. But this is, didn't I do that priority nine? No, I didn't do it priority nine. That's why. Lemon. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna do that digging? No, apparently you're not. Okay, let's prioritize this to nine. Go. Come on, someone get this done. It's a good job I put this algae terrarium down here to generate a little bit of oxygen, wouldn't it? That worked out kind of well. We could do with a bit of a mop. Let's do a, do a, bit, of a bit of a mop there. Get rid of that. Come on, walk. Grow, 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 grow. Get my storage compact to get some more sand. Uh, what have we got in there? In there, we have got uh, the dirt, haven't we? We've got 800 kilos of dirt at 30 degrees, and it's going up. Good news. Cool. So this is, it's actually freaking working. It's unbelievable. And we've got sand sitting there. We've got six kilograms of sand there that we've made. Peachy. Uh, oh, and there goes some phosphorus and, oh, sorry, some fertilizer. And instantly it's turned to dirt. So dig, right, you know. But yeah, you can see the only problem with this is it's very manually intensive. You've got to micromanage the process, which is a bit of a pain. So now that was sand. We had that at priority seven, didn't we? Let's, let's bump it back to six. Well, actually, no, keep it at seven. Let's make this one. Uh, filtration medium sand and priority seven let's get all the sand down here oh look at that dig priority nine boom dirt but it's a, it's a, a tiny little amount of dirt this is this is the stuff Oh, that's the uh, phosphorus. Let's have a look at this. 44 degrees. It's going up and it's going up at a, a nice pace. So that is working. So let's see. We've got that storage compactor needs to be set at six. That one needs to be set at seven. That one at six. That's fine. Oh, man. Um, is there, There's no point setting that at seven. They they all need to be set at the same. Otherwise, I'll just take it out of one and put it into the other, won't they? Yeah. See, what I'd like to be able to do is kind of split it into a certain amount and then just drop it on the floor. But like the only way that I could really do that would be to like, to like put it into a storage compactor, drop it on the floor, then delete a couple of tiles so they can't get to it, then do the next one, then do the next one, then do the next one. The only problem is when you want to go back to the first one, how the hell do you get to it? You'd need to, uh, then you'd need, I don't know, like another level so that you could go round and, and build ladders to get, uh, I it, did, horrendously complicated. I can't see really a kind of a good way of doing it. Let's see. Um, bum, 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 bum. Fertilizer. You going up? 34.8. No, it's not really going up. Let's, get, let's increase this one to a seven. Let's get it moved over into this one. It's, it's, it's a little bit hotter over here, not much. But it's it's up at the temperature that we want. We only need to get to about 320 degrees. How's, how hot's the room in general? About four. It's, it's definitely cooled down a hell of a lot. What, what are we over here? It's still 500 degrees over here. Let's have a look at the, the temperature map. Man, it's still freaking red hot. Yeah, so they're moving it out of here and putting it into here. Okay, so now if we set this one back to six, and then hopefully they'll bring them some more and put it into there. Well, we'll see if that works. And... Oh, see, now we're heating up. 
Now we're heating up. That's what we want. Awesome. How are we doing in this one? Well, we're up at 50 degrees. Oh, man. And I think they've moved all the sand now. Hopefully they've moved all of the sand. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if they come down with any more sand. No, no, no I don't know. Let's see. What are you? What are you doing? Are you bringing sand down here? No, you're delivering some water. Cool. And our wheeze water's planted. What's the temperature in here? Yep, yeah, minus thirty-five. So we're keeping the temperature down. What's the temperature in there? Like seventeen degrees. So this airlock is actually working kind of nicely. 350 degrees out here, which is perfect. Oh, 55. I mean, it's going to take a while to get up to the the temperature that we need it to get up to. But the point is, we can do it. And if we really wanted to speed things up, then um, I don't know. Do, I, do, do we want to speed things up a bit? Yeah, I suppose we could. This is like 500 degrees, all of this. This is like 1,300 degrees. If I dig through here, that's going to be a... That's going to make this very, very hot. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's dig out. Let's dig out those. Let's, let's have a little bit more heat. We'll kind of regulate the, the temperature that way. Uh, you know what? Yeah. No, yeah, let's do it a bit at a time. Let's take those two out and we'll kind of take it from there. So, here comes Zach... Whoa. Yeah, you couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. Okay, I'll tell you what, Zach. Let's, uh, let's assign you one of these. Get you in there. Get you healed up. Somebody else can have a try. Oh, here we go. Wendy got it done. Well, got one of them done anyway. Right, Wendy, you need healing up. You, but you can see so much micromanagement. Tyler's in here. What are you doing in there, Tyler? I think Wendy VB in it. Oh, hang on. Is Zach, did that repair Zach's, like, instantly? Yeah, health 134. Peachy. All right, well, let's get Wendy VB in here. Wendy VB, boom. God. So what is it doing with Tyler? Let's have a look at Tyler. All right, Tyler. So, has he got heat stroke? But I don't think it's going to cure his heat stroke. That's the thing. So what the hell is it doing? Or is he just trapped in there? No, he's out. Oh, hey, no, it has cured his heat stroke. All right, cool. Um, so, Nanny G, you're fine. Zach, you're fine. You're fine. Wendy, you're fine. So we've kept all of our jeeps alive. Food shortage? How the hell did we manage to end up with a food shortage? Okay, that's kind of a bit of a surprise. We've only got 12 dupes. Okay. I think I need to be harvesting more regularly. It's a good point, actually. It's actually a very good point. What's the temperature in here? Yeah, 10, 11, 20, 23, 16, 14 degrees. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Everything this is growing. I need to harvest more often. That's the problem. So that we, we that we grow more often. I need to keep an eye on that. That'll be an issue. I, I, I need to get like another... Probably another row of plants at least. I don't know. We'll maybe put another row of plants down here or something. They'll cope with the temperatures. What's the temperatures in here? Like like minus... Yeah. It's only just, like, it's only just minus. Um, come on. Harvest all of this. Get going. Right, down here, how we, let's, let's have a look, let's have a look, what we do temperature wise, we are at 60 degrees, 60 degrees and that's stopped, why have you stopped going up, this is at 38.8, uh, okay, why is that, why is the temperature suddenly stopped going up? You, you're stuck at 60.9 degrees. Why have you stopped? Still at 60.9. What the hell is going on? We haven't even got that much stuff in here. Okay, I tell you what. Uh, 
Let's drop it on the floor. Let's see, does it heat up when it's sitting on the floor? 60.9. You know, I wonder if... Oh, I wonder if it's this liquid phosphorus. Oh, man, that liquid phosphorus could be causing us a problem. Let's mop that up and see. So we bring it... Oh, they're putting the dirt back in there, which doesn't matter. But I... Oh, oh what you got there? Oh, you were carrying some dirt... Uh, so you were carrying some fertilizer and it turned into dirt as soon as they hit this temperature. Wow. Must have been a very small amount. Yeah, four, uh, no, four kilograms. Okay. Dig that out. Dig, priority nine. Boom, go. Well, this is definitely isn't like a smooth process by any, by any means. But it's kind of fun. Like, the whole thing with changing the states of matter and whatever is just fun. So it was 61.1. It was 60.9, wasn't it? So it's gone up a tiny bit. But I, I do wonder if it is this liquid phosphorus. But why is that liquid phosphorus so cool? Let's get rid of that liquid phosphorus and then we'll see. We'll see if the temperature actually starts going up. That's if Zach can avoid killing himself. Here comes Wendy. That's it, Wendy. Do a bit of mopping. Oh, you put pick that dirt up and put it back in there. Right, so... Oh, see, now the temperature's going up again. It's that liquid phosphorus that's causing us a bit of an issue. Okay, I guess we'll just have to keep, like, mopping up and stuff. How's the fertilizer in here? Fertilizer in here. Yeah, see, it's ticking up nicely. Well, it was, and that slowed down a little bit, because I think there's a, yeah, there's a little bit of liquid phosphorus there. And look at that liquid phosphorus cooling down. Yeah, so I'm going to... Oh, man. So this gets even worse, because I'm going to have to keep mopping this whole blooming area all the while, until... Well, basically, until we get rid of the liquid... Uh, get rid of the phosphorus that's in here. Now, what I could do is pump oxygen into here, to keep the phosphorus down or something. Yeah, see, now we've got a bit of phosphorus forming over here, which is going to slow down this one. And, and a little bit of phosphorus forming there. Yeah, oh man, that's a... That is a nuisance, because this was working nicely. This was working nicely. Okay, well... This is just something we're just going to have to do. We're just going to have to keep mopping up this stupid phosphorus until we get rid of it. But... There's quite a lot of it in here. You know what, guys? I think we'll leave the episode there because I want to get your feedback on all of this and see, like, can you come up with some cool ideas about how we can do this process of creating sand better? Um, now, getting rid of this phosphorus, that needs to happen. So firstly, how do we get rid of the phosphorus? Um, how do we handle the... I think... I think just putting the, the, the dirt and the fertilizer down here is going to work. If we can maybe solve this stupid phosphorus problem. See, phosphorus is already forming again. And it's really slowing down the temperature increases. So, yeah. Okay, well. Um, yeah, now is definitely time for me to get your feedback. I want your cool ideas. How's the temperature in here? Yeah, we're going up again now that I've uncovered this. So we're keeping the temperature up around the 500 mark on this side. We're up around the 350 mark on this side. That's cool. We've got loads more heat that we can unleash into this area. And we've got this magma at 1500 degrees if we really need it. And I could dig into here and like drop fertilizer like straight onto the magma. Um, but that would take, that would suck a lot of heat out very, very quickly. So yeah. All right, guys, I uh, seriously, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. This has been a really interesting one, even though we maybe haven't like done a whole hell of a lot. Um, but I love playing around with the with the changing states of matter stuff. Uh, if you've got any ideas about um, this, should I move this? Should I move this and put this up here? Maybe. Uh, what I was originally thinking of doing at the beginning of this, uh, this episode was taking... Oh, there's a couple of buildings overheated. Overheated? What's the temperature in here? How could those be overheated? What's the temp? Oh, it's 77. Oh, these have probably got a max temperature of like 75. 
Uh, it doesn't actually tell me. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, that's the water. No, where, where's the storage compactor? Overheating. Let's have a look. Uh, and it doesn't tell me. I'm guessing the max temperature is 75. So I may have to do something about that. Uh, I think probably the, the sensible thing to do right now is um, deconstruct that build, that one. Deconstruct that one. Because uh, this isn't taking damage. The water's only at 73. So maybe we just need to let the stuff come over here a little bit more. Okay, we'll do that. We'll see how that handles. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my original plan. I was going to put um, I was going to put the showers and stuff up here, and then I was going to move all the the fertilizer production um, above the base so that the heat, because that obviously that stuff produces heat, and then have like a battery room here, have maybe another battery room here, have the fertilizer stuff maybe in the middle or something. That's what I was kind of thinking. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, let me know all your other comments. I've got to get rid of that one as well. Deconstruct, and I will catch you for the next episode. Peace out.